I think there's a lot of ground to cover because uh, you know, we didn't have any uh, introduction before we started working and, and uh, there's a whole set of uh, occurrences that happen before we have our first practice. You know, the selection, the discussion, the appointment of the coach. Uh, so I'd like to cover as much of that now as we can. Uh, any things that, that you would want our perspective on, which maybe you've already discussed with other people. And then obviously we can talk about the flares, the pool, uh, and the training, and, and what we're needing to. So um, I'd rather leave it to your questions rather than make any you know, broad statement. But uh, if we want to talk about the team and the practices and the upcoming games, uh, Coach Mark will address that. If you want to talk about the program, and uh, the pool of players in the future, then I'm probably the better guy to talk to about that. Okay, so go. What's your connection of Coach Mark to the day in game? Can you discuss what way to do? Yeah, um, there was a few factors there that uh, we looked at. Obviously, first we wanted a coach that had international experience. Um, and really more than uh, Mark's stint with Albania when he coached them, who was it? Albania. Was, uh, the long, long time he had as a player internationally for New Zealand and his exposure to the international game, plus his exposure right throughout Europe and playing in uh, several countries there, Greece, Germany, Russia. Um, so I, I think that, you know, we're always looking for the ideal prospect and you're rarely ever going to find that. But when you can find somebody with as much energy and passion as Mark has, as much experience as he has in the international game. And then the other big factor was we looked at the success of the SEA Games team. And we looked at the fact that I thought Tim did a really smart thing, which he came in and he selected a lot of his players rather than trying to look at the country of basketball and saying, you know, what is the all-star team? Let's turn that into Gilas. He talked more about what would be the most effective team. And certainly in the short term, we're trying to, to emulate that a little bit with uh, I guess the Ateneo talk and text combination of players and then the Inlex players who are also part of the group. So we have some cohesion there and really we're just tearing a page out of Coach Tim's book. We, we thought that was very clever. So Mark being able to have the relationship that he has with the talk and text players, with the Inlex players through our group and, and with the Ateneo players and through being at many of my practices, uh, we thought that that was a, you know, something that would benefit the program. So Mark was a great choice, and um, we have all the confidence. He's a very good coach. He's proven that in the PBA. Uh, we have uh, all the confidence in the world that we'll go into the uh, FIBA windows well prepared. And that's the coach's job, get the team well prepared. Okay.